Ladies and gentlemen, the people of Northwest and Southwest region and the French speaking part of Cameroon, I send you greetings. This is a party political broadcast by myself, the leader of the British Cameroon National Party. 2018 has been a very difficult year for our party and also for myself personally, taking into consideration what has been happening in Saudi Cameroon. It's very disappointing to me personally because the objective of us creating this party was about resolving the problem in Northwest region and Southwest region through a political solution. Because there's no other nationalist party in Cameroon. However, if you look at the dynamics in Cameroon, you will know that most parties are regional, with the exception of the ruling party. You can tell Belo Guba, Daikole Daisala, Kamto, you can tell um, Damjoya, and the SDF. But however, we believe that we, as the people of Saudi Cameroon, could resolve our problem within the limits of the law. It's rather unfortunate that 2018 has been one of the most saddest periods in the history of the Cameroon. We have seen what has been happening to our civilians. Some have been kidnapped, raped, tortured, killed, beheaded. Those are things we don't expect in a country where we see ourselves as the Anglo-Saxons. In the British Cameroon National Party, we don't see a quick fix because we understand the problem in the Cameroons, and we do not believe that we can lay blame only to Mr. Beard, because we understand the France affair, the geopolitics in the world. We have seen changes in countries like Togo, where the father Eyadema handed power to the son. Nothing has changed. In Gabon, Omar Bongo to Ali Bongo, nothing has changed. The same in the Democratic Republic of Congo and other French African countries. We understand that the policy of the European Union, once one of them they have a policy that they are getting in Africa, all the European Union countries still behind them. We understand it's the same thing with America. We like to see our heroes being killed. And we call them heroes when they are dead. We all know what happened to Thomas Sankara. And Bless Camparo took over. And today Bless Camparo is not there. What happened? Nothing has changed. I don't believe in politics of personality cult. I believe in strong institution. That's why I've got senior members in our party, like the Secretary General, Mola Mosima, Daniel, the European leader, George Moka, Likenye, Eugene Guanola, who is the youth leader and other people. The aim of our party is to bring people of all corners, nooks and crannies so that we can see how we can join other French African countries by trying to stop the cooperation agreement of 1959. 
Some of you don't even know. The French part of Cameroon is not also independent. Because 14 African countries, France still control their economy, their politics, and their military. So if we remove Mr. Bia today, what's going to change? Nothing. Some of you might say a little bit of things. I don't believe it. Nothing will change. So and that's why I look at the French part of Cameroon and the English part of Cameroon. They are all pivotal for this change. So suddenly, some of our brothers and sisters, they see the Francophones as enemies. I am not fighting the Francophones. We are not fighting the Francophones. We are fighting a regime. And in order to fight this regime, our policy has always been that let's create a nationalist political party that is non-violent. Let's start by taking parliamentary seat, local seat. It will take us time. It's not a quick fix. It's going to take us time. Our policy, we have learned, we have experienced people. Myself, I've been in the Labour Party in the UK for more than 20 years. I've stood as a councillor twice. I understand how it works. I've met people like Nigel Farage to understand how they run the UK party. Follow the Scottish National Party, Catalonians, Flemish Party, all those things we learn. It takes time. It takes years. There is no quick fix. So far as we keep on throwing stones to each other, we are going nowhere. I don't hate any person. I'm a political animal. I can query with you politically, but when it comes behind the scene, we will share a glass of drink. That is politics. That is the anglo saxon way. What I hate is for people to be conning our people. Sometimes you tell people you can give them independence in the court in America. That is what I hate. Again, ever since I joined the nationalist movement as a young boy, our motto has always been, non-violence. So for those of you who have been using violence against the government of Cameroon, tell me if you are living in America, in Britain, in Europe, if you take up arms against any government, whether it's in the Western world, the government will fight back. And I'm calling of those of you who have made mistakes, it is never too late to put your arms down and join the political struggle. It is politics, nothing else. A revolution, it is politics. A revolution is about changing one system of government with another one. That is politics. Politics is about a political party. It's about creating a political party with people who have similar ideology in order to take power through elections. So that's politics. We should understand that even if we remove Mr. Bia today, nothing will change. And the time is now. The time is now to put pressure on the government to start changing the political institution. There's no quick fix. We are not going to be the ministers. I want everyone to understand that we cannot fight that regime because the Americans are behind Mr. Beer. The Europeans are behind Mr. Beer. And if you're fighting, you're not fighting Mr. Beer. These people have got contracts, they have their interests. And to them, national interest comes first before human rights. I want to thank everyone for watching us. And I should also thank members of our party for allowing me to join a cross talk with Padi Asanga every day because they, without them giving me that permission, I wouldn't have been having the alternative.